Hello everyone, Chamancin here. Today I'm showing you how to increase the resolution on your cacti graphs. So within cacti, um, all the graphs are averaged out um, based on the profile you select. So for example, the one minute profile will show a one minute, one minute average for the day, five minute average, or sorry, 15 for the week, etc., etc. Now, uh, on the daily graph, we'll have the most resolution, meaning the most information in the graph. So every minute, the cacti system pulls, grabs the data, and records it down without really averaging it out. Because you're pulling every minute, it records every minute. Now, on the weekly graph, uh, say the 15-minute average, that's when the graph starts consolidating data. And so an event that happened uh you know, you're looking on Friday for something that happened on Monday um, will have been averaged out. So if someone, you know, you have a customer or a network event and you used 100 meg of your 100 meg service and it was really slow, you might not see that data because it's been averaged out for the week. So you might want to change that depending on how sensitive you want your reporting to be. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. So it is best to do it, um, you know, when you're planning out your cacti system because there are some pros and cons. One of the pro, obviously, is that you're going to get more bandwidth. Uh, sorry, more resolution in your graphs, and you're going to get every event um, on there. The con is that it's going to add more overhead to your system, uh, particularly in storage, because now we're collecting and storing more data. So those RRA files are going to get bigger. So you're going to have to plan that out. And it is best to do this also with an empty system because um, you haven't created any graphs. Now, once you create the graphs, there is a way to, you know, move the old graphs over, change the profile and then go back in. But then that requires running some scripts to, um, to, bring the data back over and it can get really messy, especially if you have a, a bit of a bigger system. So, or, or you make the change, delete the graphs or, or archive them somewhere else and then just move on with your, um, with your resolution, uh, changes. So, uh, that's some things to consider. So to do this, uh, I'm on a, uh, cacti system that has no devices so uh, I'm just gonna change them right off the bat I'm gonna go to presets and then data profiles so under data profiles there's um, one minute and five minute collection this is all default so I'm gonna go over to the one minute collection and this is where we can see the averages so it'll be one minute average 15 minute average one hour and four hour for the year and then the retention so we're going to by default um, the daily one minute average will be stored for two days and 18 hours before it is consolidated to 15 minute averages for the week so i am going to change this so i'm going to do one minute average but i'm going to store it for five days and then the weekly average I'm going to sort for one month. And the thinking behind that is that if someone calls into the front lines on your help desk and is experiencing a problem, and it could be bandwidth problem uh, or something like that, then your um, front desk is your, your, your support staff are going to look at graphs for the day. Uh, firstly, because you're reporting a problem for today. Now, Typically, if a customer says, oh, I've been having the problem for the past three, four days, then that's when you might want to look at the weekly graph. And then you want to start seeing, um, you know, maybe a bit more resolution for the weekly graph um, that's less than the 15-minute average by default. Now, again, most service desks will take these numbers, uh, these retention, the the averages and the retentions and be just fine but um, it's really up to you and your planning on on how sensitive your customer base are and how sensitive um, 
you want your reporting to be. Now, take note that it, for stat more static data, um, you might want to apply different retention policies or different uh, data source profiles to them because, for instance, you don't really need up to the minute averages for BGP status, or you don't need up to the minute average for temperature status, things like that, uh, in terms of averages. So, um, or maybe you do, it all depends on, on what your needs are. Okay, so um, we're going to change this up. First thing I'll do is go to a date. And what we'll do is go based on rows. So we have to change the rows. So 4,000 rows gives us two days. So I'm targeting seven days. So I'll bump this up, say 6,000 will give you four days, four hours. So let's go a bit more. Uh, no. Okay, so I'm doing 12,000 rows. And I'll get to the calculation just in the second here. So 12,000 rows at one minute average gives me one week, just over one week of data retention before it starts to average out. Just click save. And then we'll go to the 15 minute average. So first thing I'll do is rename this to five. And then we'll do aggregation level of five. Okay, so to calculate the rows, maybe I should have said this in the one minute, but uh, it's okay. Um, what we'll do for calculation is this. We're doing five minute average, okay? Uh, and then what we'll do is, so in an hour, 60 divided by five, 12. Okay. Now we want to store this over 14 days. So 288 times 14 gives me 4032. So if I look at 432 rows or values, that gives me exactly two weeks. So now I want to say store it for a month. So that would be 8064. Gives me four weeks. Okay, so um, that will be good for the months that have four weeks. The ones that have five, you might want to tinker with this a bit. Take a shot in the dark. Uh, this will be say ten thousand sixty. Oh, okay. So give it a, a few more days past just the four weeks, and uh, that will in, that will um, expand out to days that have. Um, five weeks in there. Months that have five weeks in there, sorry. And we'll save that. Now, I'm not going to, in my example, change the monthly and the yearly, but uh, if you wish, you can change that too. And it would be the same principle. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to my default. Go back to data profiles. And now note that instead of five minute collection, it's set to yes for one minute collection. Now go over to your data source templates. Okay, and these were all set to five minute collection. So let's just expand this a bit. So I will set them all to the new one minute collection. So change profile one minute collection. Okay. And this is where you'll decide, uh, like I said before, what you want to have this amount of uh, resolution. So we change the one minute profile to be uh, more, um, more high resolution to, to collect more data. Now your hard drive space, for example, 
chances are it's not changing that significantly uh, up and down that you need that high resolution graph. So I can easily change this to five minute collection and that will have a lower resolution graph so that uh, I'm not wasting space on, uh, on a graph that doesn't change that rapidly like you would in um, interface traffic or errors or something like that, right? So that's where you would have to kind of pick and choose what you want uh, to have this amount of data. Um, and it will also help you in the long run because you're not wasting resources in, on your server for these, uh, these higher usage graphs. Okay, and that's how you change the graph resolution on your Cacti system. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. You can also visit my website, www.seanmancini.com, and also reach out to me, sean at seanmancini.com. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.